everybody, this is Sherry at tjcenter.blogspot.com and you might think, oh, I thought we already did a craft room video. Well, we actually did do a craft room tour video, but I actually am coming to you today to talk about Christmas crafting because I have the craft space all set up and ready for Christmas um, by pulling Christmas items together. Now, you may recall from the craft um, room video that I kept all of my Christmas stuff in that one shelf. So if you look right over there, second shelf in, that's where all of the Christmas stuff gets stored. And that's still the case. Now there are some things that may not be in there that I um, don't have room for in there, but for the most part, stamps, dies, ribbons, all of those things get stuffed in there, including paper. So I've um, reorganize that a little bit so that um, anything that I could pull out and move closer to my desk I was able to so we'll get there in just a second so those are those four sh um, shelves now I have my die cutting station all set up and ready to go including the chocolate covered almonds there um, and you can see the vagabonds all put away um, and then the other place that I have stamps, if you look at my Tim Holtz binders, one of those is where I actually keep my Tim Holtz um, Christmas stamps. And actually the very bottom shelf there has some other Christmas stuff that I probably won't get to this year, but I know that I can rummage through it if I need it. So we're gonna actually come around, and hopefully I won't make you dizzy, to the actual workspace section. So here you can see my Ikea cart and it looks a bit jumbled, but it's actually more organized than what you might think. Now the bottom shelf is actually where I have all of my inks from um, my distress inks, including my archivals, um, my watercolor um, pencils are in there. That's um, one of the places, uh, usually this is just sitting next to me, my stamp press, but I have that stuff right in there. So it's handy right at my desk side. The next shelf is where I have lots of tags. Now you are going to see lots of tag videos this year. And that's one of the things I wanted to talk to you about because I am hoping that there will be 20 stamp videos. Now, if I don't make it to 20 stamp videos, well, let's just say there should be um, at least a good number of stamp videos and the rest of them will end up being on Instagram. So please be sure and check out both places. Now to the side of the cart, that didn't change. I still have my um, watercolor uh, pens from um, Alta New, but then over on this side, I did move my Christmas washi. So now this top one, this is the, the scrappy, fun, beautiful embellishment shelf. And this shelf I'm so excited about. So this is a box I have that I want to redo someday, but I have filled that box with um, hand dyed ribbon using mica stains and seam binding. So I chose all the colors I thought I would want to possibly use for Christmas and that is in there. Now if I want other Christmas ribbons I'll pull either Christmas ribbons or regular ribbon from my stash. But then on the top of this we'll pull this top tray out because I can easily pull this out and set it on my desk. And you see I have um, a couple of things of tinsel twine. Now I have two different tinsel twines. This one is this year's tinsel twine. This one is um, an older version of tinsel twine from Tim Holtz, but I have both of those. And then I have some different tags here. These are from, I think, uh, I can't remember who made those. They're really old. Uh, another roll of washi. I've got some um, little chip wood pieces here of Christmas trees. I've got some K and Company poinsettias. I've got um, Tim Holtz older embellishments and then I've got some other in ephemera from Tim Holtz as well. Um, and then as I move back over more tags, um, I have my muffin tin set up with all sorts of goodies. I've got the silver and gold Christmas um, baubles from this year's ID Christmas ideology as well as the colored baubles from this year's Christmas ideology. I've got some of these old word um, tags. I've got snowflakes and I've got more charms. Some are Tim Holtz, some are not. I've got um, flair in there. I've got a Christmas, this year's Christmas ephemera pack. 
all um, out in its tray. This is an older set of um, collage paper. I've got that ready to go. I've got a whole stack here of mini paper pads ready to go. These are all Christmas. And then various embellishments and bling that I've pulled out. I have my um, stencils here. These are just the Christmas or wintry stencils. I'm a bit bummed because I'm missing a ring of stencils. These are ones that I've collected since the other ring went missing. I still haven't found it after the move. I hope to find it soon. And then I've got this ephemera pack or this uh, sticker pack, I think is what it's called. So this uh, funny looking clipboard here is a Yupo background that I um, made so that I could do some lifting off of it to make some of my Christmas tags this year. So that is pretty much the Christmas setup. I've got my um, sprays and stuff really close at hand in drawers in the desk. And then the last thing I wanted to show you is the new video video setup. So I'm very thankful that my husband went and was able to find um, this particular setup. This is so much more convenient than what we've used actually probably ever. Um, but um, one of the reasons I haven't been doing videos in the last several months, except for very sporadically, is just the, the setup that we had was very clunky. It was cumbersome to use and I just didn't get it set up very often. When I had crafting time, I wanted to spend my time crafting and not figuring out the video setup. So this works really, really well. So I'm really excited about that. And it was actually pretty inexpensive. So I'm um, glad to have that going so that we can be going just in time for the Christmas crafting season. So um, more to come in the next weeks, getting ready for Christmas. And I hope you come back. Be sure and subscribe and like. Um, if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to watch all the Christmas videos coming in the next few weeks. Thanks so much for stopping by today and remember, take some time to enjoy the little things. Have a great day. Bye.